And Celtics fans were obviously fired up after last night's win between the sold out crowd and the packed bars. They couldn't contain their excitement as WBC's Penny Commit shows us. A few tired eyes walking out of North Station this morning, yet an energy in the air as the seas move one step closer to Banner 18. Did you stay up late to watch the game last yes, night? I did. <laughs> you got a little tired going in org this morning? Yeah, I do. I'm, I'm a big Celtics fan though. I can, I can stick it out at night. Worth it to see the win? Absolutely. They're a juggernaut. There's nothing stopping them this year. If you weren't lucky enough to be inside the garden last night, outside was nearly just as fun. Charles and his pup live right along Causeway. The whole street over here was filled up with everyone. It was just an amazing thing going on. Everybody was together. There was no incidents and they had a good time. The city has declared Canal Street Boston's official finals hub, closing the road to traffic during the games, allowing bars and restaurants to extend service out into the street and giving all the fans a chance to celebrate together. It was incredible. I mean, it was, uh, there was a lot going on. There was a lot of noise. There was a lot of chanting and uh, it was very exciting. The city says they'll close off Canal Street for at least the first four games and potentially more, which begs the question, will the C's see a sweep? We're the best team in the league. They can't play defense. They can't stop us. Season five, probably. Champions for sure. We knew it was going to go that way all along. So, uh, Celtics in five. Celtics in four. Celtics in six! But whether it takes four games or seven, one thing is certain. Boston fans will be there every step of the way. There's no quit in Dallas. They're a tough team. Um, I just see it as a hard fought series. I don't see the Celtics sweeping them, but you never know. In Boston, Penny Commit, WBZ News.